Greetings gamers, Game Fairy here, and today I am trying Medieval Dynasty. I saw this game on Game Pass and thought it looked interesting, so I do want to go ahead and give it a try. Press any button. Bloop. And uh, we're going to start a new game. Start game. And we see the wide open blue sky with some white seagull silhouettes. I used to have a simple life. Whatever needed doing round the farm, i do it. Being the eldest son, it's tough. But at least we had a living and our plates were never empty. Then the war came. I've lost everything overnight. The last thing I remember is father pushing me away, yelling for me to run, to live. At first, I didn't know what to do. Then I remembered a story my mother once told me, a story about my uncle, Lorden. He made a modest fortune up north in a peaceful valley far away from the war. For weeks I held on to that thought until the valley from mother's stories, I could see it. This is where I start a new life. Medieval Dynasty. Ooh, all right, that was our opening moment there. So let's go ahead and get into some gaming. Oh, we got a little loading screen here with a buffalo in the snow in a forest. Oh, the loading. Uh-oh, is this going to work? Oh, okay. We're not even halfway loaded yet. So... This game might be too tall of an order. <laughs> oh, okay, there we go. We're in. One thing I will comment on this game is that the font is not is not giving. <laughs> I don't even know if there is a way to change the font in this game. It is very small. So, <laughs> I'm looking through the options right now. I have blood on, head bobbing will be off, camera shakes will be off, player breathing. I guess I'm gonna put that off too. Time to auto save 15 minutes. Auto save on quest end. Yes. Let's go ahead and accept these changes. Okay, on graphics, we just have frame rate, field of view, brightness. We've got sound. Okay, not much going on in sound. Just the general. Oh, invert Y axis and controls. That's going to be a must for me. Okay, well, I guess I will do my best to read any dialogue, but I'm not sure how much there even is in this game. So new quest, starting a new life, discovered animal spot, crow. Okay, I need to talk to Castellon, I think is what that says. This is super tiny. And I got my readers on. Let me see. Oops, didn't mean to bump y'all, but let's try to find Castellon. Oh, so I do see there is a quest marker. If you've played Skyrim, if you've played, oh, what is that game? Dragon's Dogma, how on the top you see... A compass as you twirl around it shows you the meters away from the objective so that is what I'm looking at right now I am following a yellow exclamation mark through the woods through the nice wilderness I can collect some items though I collected some sticks I'm getting ahead of the curve right now give me some more sticks was that a stone I'm gonna go ahead and take a stone I do have a punch ability and a block ability with the triggers. Right triggers punch, left triggers block. Oh, I definitely have a stanima bar chilling in the bottom left hand corner of the screen. It is a green bar. We also might have some hunger or some sleep. Not sure yet, but I'm, I assume the game will let us know. Oh, and we discovered another animal spot for a pigeon. But I'm still making my way to, I guess, into town. Okay, I came across this sign. It says Gostovia. 
is the way that we're walking and the way that we came from is Hornica. But this is some wide open slopage here. We're walking down a slope covered in green grass. There's some parts of rock here, some rough terrain, but for the most part, it's quite open. Nice, bright, sunny day. Our character's walking down, getting their steps in, getting a little sweat on. I'm sweating watching this. Oh, and I think we're finally getting very close to town. We got a scarecrow. Can I punch the scarecrow? No, nothing happens. <laughs> but we got some people. Hi, friends. Oh, I can talk to Alwyn. Have you heard anything re interesting recently? I wish. It's been really boring lately. Oh, they are age 19. I can ask them, where can I find? Make small talk. Could you move a... Oh, I thought it said, could you move a little closer? Could you move a little? And farewell. Those are our five options. Let's see what where can I find does. Oh, farm animals, wild animals, vendors. Thank you. That's what I wanted to know. So I'm just going to let Alvin go. Oh, we got another character. Oh, greeting stranger. Her name is Dobromira. Age 18. Well, she has cute little braided hairstyle, two little braided buns. Have you heard anything interesting recently? I wish. It's been very boring. Okay, so I do have the option to romance her. I didn't have the option to romance the last character, so I guess it is only heterosexual relationships in this game. Unfortunate. Could you move a little? What does that do? Oh, and she just Fs off. Okay. <laughs> Finding a wife is the first step to secure your dynasty's survival. Your future spouse will move into your house and aid you in various tasks. One day, she may provide you with an heir, but nothing comes easy. First, you will have to win her heart. Okie dokie. That was unprompted. I just told her to move and it's like, marry a woman. <laughs> Oh, I see a woman with a hoe getting to work. The hoe is going directly through the ground. This freaking witch. It's a witch. This is Jardiniwa, age 40. It's nice to meet you. Anything interesting? Nothing really. Just the wind blowing. So uh, these people really need to start playing some games. I don't know what medieval games they got around here maybe some hopscotch skipping stone they seem so bored should i already go ahead and romance this lady that dobro mira sorry i'm not looking for a partner but i heard that travelers that usually sit by the campfire do all righty well already rejected dang can i jump in this game is the true test of game time let's see i'm clicking everything i don't know if y'all can hear that but oh i guess i have a focus button oh we got a wheel of is this a wheel of crafting oh i can handcraft oh awesome i'm about to run back into the woods and grab some more stuff i can get a stone pickaxe with a log and four stones i can get a stone axe with 10 sticks and two stones. I think I want to make a stone axe. I'm going back to the forest. Okay, I can do a sprint. Let's take some stones. I don't know if I have a carrying capacity, nor do I want to find out. <laughs> Maybe if I just keep grabbing stuff before the actual tutorial has started, it would let me just keep just putting stones in my pocket and not be over encumbered. Okay, I'm just grabbing a bunch of stones. I think I have enough now. Let me get back to that wheel. If I hold the right bumper, the wheel appears. And there are building options. Oh, hunting. Okay, maybe I want to look at hunting. You don't have a... Oh my gosh. This is blue. How do you put blue text? 
oh, I can't even see that. You don't have Castellan's permission to build on this land. So I do have to do the first quest here before I can build on this land. Well, let's try handcrafting. Ooh, I can make an axe. Is this what I want to make? Oh, I can also make a stone knife. Okay, let's go ahead and do the stone axe. Oh, and it's taken a little bit. And I have crafted the stone axe. Why to equip it? Oh, have y'all ever played Torok? Uh, Torok Evolution? It was a game for GameCube. It kind of looks like the basic melee weapon. Minus the spikes. That one had spikes on it, but... It's just a stone going through a wrapped piece of stick, a thick old stick. And while I am looking at crafting items, oh, so I also installed Oblivion <laughs> from Elder Scrolls Universe, and uh, that should be interesting. I do want to get two more sticks and make a stone knife as well. So let me grab a stick so I can make a stone knife now. Six seconds. Oh, there is weight. 0.5 weight. A type of tool crafted by hand or at the workbench in the smithy can be used for skinning and butchering animals. 50 durability, 40 price. So I'm going to go ahead and craft a stone knife. Y'all, I don't know what I'm doing, but I, I want these tools. These are basic items here. Now, let me see how I can find the things. Oh, I can go into, I was in first person. I can go into third person, but I think I'm going to stay in first for now. I did just press the menu screen. So it does show my inventory. I didn't realize I was already carrying so many items already. It looks like our... Carrying capacity is 35, and we are currently carrying 11.02 kilograms worth of items. So I, oh no, I accidentally ate an apple. Dang it, why didn't it ask me? <laughs> My, our homie was, was just a little hungry, I guess. But we got some plantains, dried meat, got some oat roll. So... Definitely got some food on our hands and then our stone knife that I crafted and our stone axe. So we got an inventory screen. Oh, do we have a torch too? Well, we already have a torch. So we're doing pretty well. Let me see how much money we have. Well, we have a coin. I don't know if that is our actual currency. I love how I'm just looking through things without actually going through the quest. I promise I will get to the quest in a moment. I'm just checking my my stuff. I'm, I'm a curious little gamer right now. We have some skills. I would, oh yeah, we do have a skill tree journal that lists our chapters, our story quests, side quests, challenges, map management. Oh, this is management of our people, buildings, crops, animals, people's demand controls, technology, and our knowledge. Okie dokie. So let's actually go into town now and speak with the person that will grant me permission to hunt on this land. So I am walking through a wheat field. I just passed a medieval shed. Can I open this? Oh no, it says Rob. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't get a button happy and just mash that so I can rob someone. I'm going to look to the left, look to the right. Nobody in sight. Let's take a, a peek. Okay. Oh, there's no items in this chest. So what am I robbing? The air? Come on now. And I see the opening to the town. I discovered another animal spot for a pigeon. <gasps> but there are geese. Oh, a gander, a goose. I can buy it for 1,500 rupees. No, I don't know what the currency is. 1,500 coins. 
Oh, water. Hydration is crucial in the wilderness. When the water parameter is depleted, you will start to lose health. You can refill it by drinking various beverages. Water can be stored and transported in buckets and the water skin. Okay. Oh, the water is blue. So we have a green bar, a red bar, a blue bar, and an orange bar. And the blue bar is our water and it is half full so we got to find some water real quick i'm just sitting here looking at this these little goslings so freaking cute okay let's try to find some water quick i imagine there would be water in this town right i don't want to buy an oxen i just <laughs> Where, where's dasani where's where's aquafina <laughs> Oh gosh, I guess I'll just follow the quest marker and hope that he also explains to us about... Oh, dang. Homie tried to knuckle up on me. What's his name? Drogswit. Watch where you're going. Gosh. Oh, I can steal some... What is this? Oh, I can steal a medium wicker basket. I will not. Not in front of this gentleman who's sitting here with a wooden shovel. Yeah, that's an awful idea. I'm usually not one to have sticky fingers in games, so uh, I'm, I'm going to keep it uh, keep it chill for now. I think I'm at the place where I need to be. Eight meters away, seven, five, two. Is it inside this door? Or is it this man? Oh, it's this man sitting in front of the wooden shovel. Let's go. Sorry, you must have mistaken me with someone. I'm new in these parts. Just arrived in the valley, actually. My name is Ramir. I'm... So you aren't the one. Good. For a second there, I thought I lost it. Ha ha. But your eyes... You look just like them. Unigoth says. What? Did you know my mother? Wanda's son, aren't you? Lorden's nephew? Not really. I knew of her. We didn't ever actually meet. He wanted to keep his family separate. I don't think I understand. You will wait. What do you mean by did I know her? Is she well? I hope she is now. Wherever that might be, I've lost both my parents in the war. Damn it, this world. Sigh. I guess it can be as cruel as it is beautiful. I'm sorry, my boy. Nobody should lose their loved ones at such a young age. It's okay. They've died, so I could live. And I plan to make the best of this life that I can in order to honor their sacrifice. That's very mature of you. I'm sure they would be proud hearing that. You mentioned my Uncle Lorden. I actually came here looking for him. Oh, Ramir. I hate to be the bearer of bad news. Your uncle Lorden is no longer with us. He passed away three years ago. I'm so sorry. I understand how you must feel. He was a dear friend of mine. And the graphics in this game are not bad. But this man, this man is sitting here cross-armed. <laughs> Looking at me, almost side eye. This is the most suspicious man in gaming. I, I don't know how old this game is, but this is the most suspicious man. He did it. He killed him. Oh no, that can't be. What happened? Don't worry. He died peacefully in his sleep. He didn't suffer. I can promise you that. He freaking poisoned him. He poisoned him. There's no way this man staring at me didn't poison my uncle. So what do I do now? You are free to go wherever you like and start a new life. I hereby grant you the permission of the Castellan to build and farm on any unutilized land in the valley. Construct yourself a house and see what comes next for you. You can even build a whole village if you please. 
there are many travelers passing through. Maybe some of them would like to join your stel- <laughs> your settlement. I don't know what happened there. Just like that, I can take the land free of charge? Well, you'd have to pay taxes to the king annually. But apart from that, you are free to do as you please. As long as you don't break the law, of course. Or at least, if you don't get caught doing so, as he says, and he's leaning into me, y'all, this dude broke the law by killing my uncle. And I shall kill him. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Uh, where am I? I don't know yet. Hmm. That sounds amazing. The valley looks beautiful as well. I think I'll stay here and see what fate has in store for me. I'm glad to hear that. You can find resources all over the land. Grab a few rocks and sticks from the ground and craft yourself a simple axe. With it, you can cut down trees and chop them into logs. Then you can create a wooden hammer. That will be crucial in the building process. I'm sure you'll get the hang of it. And my character's gonna listen. When you build yourself a home, come back to Gostovia and talk to my wife. Dobrin Siga. <laughs> Dobraniga. I think I spoke to her. She was in the, the field, right? She manages the tavern. Ask her to feed you. You must be famished. And then grab some beers for the both of us and come back. I don't like this guy. I don't like him. No, not at all. I'll tell you some stories about Lorden. That sounds like a plan to me. Aren't I like 16? I think I saw my age in the uh, uh, menu screen and I was like 16 years old. I guess it's so f long ago that maybe it didn't matter, but it matters to me. I don't like it. I don't like it. Okay, so uh, let's see. Let, let's recap this. We already have the axe and we need to chop logs. And then I need to go to the tavern get some food, and then I need to grab some beers. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. Okay, sleep. To sleep, you will need to build a house or craft a campfire. Campfire definitely sees more, seems more doable at this moment, but that's just my opinion. Sleeping is available between 7 p.m. and 7 a.m., if you choose to sleep, your character will wake up the next day's morning. Sleeping in your bed restores small amounts of health, while resting by the campfire does not. Uh-oh. Going to sleep during season change will always result in waking up in your own house. Okay. Good to know. So only 7 p.m. and 7 a.m. will I be able to rest my head. That seems very restrictive. I like an occasional nap, you know? I wouldn't call myself a napper, but maybe our character wanted to be, and now we can't. So let's try to follow the rules, though. I don't want to break the law. Oh, collecting resources. All the basic resources can be collected in the wild. Just look around and reach out for them. Sticks are like... <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> Imagine if the description says... Sticks are like the easiest to find. But on the other hand, stones and herbs are much harder to spot. I don't know why I added the like in there, but... Okay. Move the cursor on the desired item until the name is shown and collect it. Resources are used for various purposes like building, crafting, healing, or eating. Okay, is that all the info? I really need some water though. I don't know how to acquire it. I'm just looking around. It seems like we are to not steal anything of course but he also kind of banished us and said go make a home come back only when you've done that so i'm just kind of looking around i did find a morel mushroom which are all the rage right now in this current month so if you like morels go go out and find some they are they are a plenty right now and oop can I take some chain? I'm just walking through. 
Oh, there is a chest, no items in it, unfortunate. But I am just walking through people's cabins, truly just looking for a drink of water. W-A-T-E-R, anyone got any? Do I need to put my thumb up and, and see if anyone has one? Oh, a well. Can I utilize this well? No, but I can rob the barrel. What the heck? <laughs> I just want some Wawa. Hello, ladies. Hello, Deborah Mira. Oh, I already spoke to her. Hello, Erica. Have you heard anything interesting lately? I heard someone has a quest for you there. Sorry, but I'm married. I try to romance her. I heard that the travelers sit by the campfire. Awesome. So, gosh, I feel like SpongeBob right now. Water. <laughs> Water. Oh, joy. And it's getting dark outside. Oh, it wants me to gather 10 sticks, I noticed. So I guess I'm just going to grab sticks. And if I lose health, I lose health. Hey, the, the quest start will protect me, right? So I'm about to be gathering these sticks in the dark. But I do know I had a torch in my inventory. So I guess if all else fails... If it gets pitch black, then I will just throw out the torch and see what it do. Okay, so I already made a stone axe, so it just passed through that. A wooden hammer, so now I need to cut trees and gather some straw. To cut down a tree, you will need to have an axe. This tool can be bought or crafted in creation menu in the handcrafting section. Equip the axe in one of the quick slots on the inventory screen and take it out. Approach a tree and start cutting it until it drops down. Then chop down the fallen one into smaller parts to acquire logs and other resources like sticks and feathers. Awesome. So let me look at our little crafting, our hand crafting wheel. And we needed a wooden hammer. So we need some logs. So let's go ahead and get some logs going. All right, now we got a list of things to do. First, I need to go to the inventory screen and equip my axe. Axe, 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 axe. There it is. Stone axe. Hello. And now, was this game made for PC? I wonder. Let's go find a tree. Give it to me. This one's kind of small. Maple tree. 40%, 20%. Dunzo. Oh, now I have a maple stump. Requires a shovel. So now I am given this maple tree the business it fell over but now i can harvest its logs if i chopped it just one more time so now i have some logs and the ability to make my hammer hammer time do 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 crafted it updates so i still need to cut four more trees it, y'all it is so dark outside right now what am i doing what time is it <sighs> embarrassing and i need 32 more straw to collect so maybe i should have just headed straight here <laughs> instead of uh goofing off and crafting the stuff that it would have told me to craft anyway but you know we live and learn Let's hit another tree. Got another maple tree. Dang, I don't know if y'all can hear that. Every time I hit this tree, the controller is vibrating. Got some more feathers and sticks. I am going to take some more logs. I don't know how heavy they are, though, so maybe I shouldn't just keep grabbing stuff. Oh, I hit an autosave. Oh, I think it said it would autosave after 15 minutes, which is good. So I don't have to think about it and I won't lose an insane amount of progress unless for whatever reason, 15 minutes is an insane amount. I did a bunch, but so far it's just basic work. I'm just finding trees, food. Okay. Eating is essential for survival. 
When the food parameter is depleted, you will start to lose health. You can obtain various nutrients from foraging, hunting, and farming. All of the food resources rot over time and may cause food poisoning. Discover different ways to preserve it for longer, such as drying, salting, or preparing meals. Okay. So both of our... Okay, let me hit this tree. Both of our bars are getting low now. I think the orange one is food. So the red is probably health. Green, stanima, blue, water, orange, food. Let me look in our inventory. I do have some more apples. I don't know if those will go bad. So let's get some apples in us. Oh yeah, our food did go up just a little bit. Oh, and also our water went up as well from the apples. Good deal. Our water is still fairly low, but... Oh, I wonder if consuming dried meat will make our water go down. It doesn't look like it says that. Oh, okay, so it does tell us the stats here. Apple is plus three food, plus two water. We have a plantain that is plus two health. We got the dried meat, which is plus five food. I think I will go ahead and consume. We have 20 dried meats. Ooh. So I'm going to consume some dried meat. Man, I really wish we had water. Let me make sure we don't in our inventory. Oh, it doesn't look like it. It don't look like it at all. I guess we're just going to start losing the health if it comes down to that. But I do have one more tree left in this chapter one, new beginning. It's so dark outside. Let's go ahead and get rid of this last maple tree for our quest. Booyah. And now we need to collect straw. It didn't tell me where the straw should be located. So I guess I will weeble wobble around. See what I can find. Got access to sticks. Let me just walk over to the water. Oh, okay. So I can literally just walk into the water, look down, and drink. Awesome. Our water is full. So we didn't even have to cure it or anything. We can just hop over. <laughs> we didn't have to boil it. No worries about amoebas or anything. We just got to drinking. I like that, though. Uh-huh. And hopefully we can just stay awake as long as we want to unless we uh, lose health and need the recovery in that way. But otherwise, it seems like hopefully we can just no sleep tonight. Now, where do you get hay from? I know if I went back into town, I could probably find some hay since there were so many animals around. But, oh, I have plenty sticks to access. Plenty sticks. How insane if I got attacked by an animal, though. <laughs> All right, let me check here. So I headed back towards the water. I did pick up a dandelion and a daisy, but I looked in our menu score. <laughs> I looked at our menu screen and saw there is the knowledge tab. So I did check resources under the knowledge tab and it gives you a general description of where to find some of the main resources so it says i need it to pick up reeds so when i went to the water i did find a reed so i collected them and through collecting the reeds i am obtaining straw so awesome i already have four out of the 32 requested straw so i'm just grabbing grabbing them real quick and shoving them in my pocket. It is super dark. I do want to try out our torch, but it is nice and handy that we basically have a full manual in our pause screen for when we need it. So that is quite nice. Oh, I only have half of our required straw. I have 18 out of 32. And our character is 18. I thought he was 16, but he is 18. So I'm almost done here collecting this straw. Oh, building. Okay. 
building menu can be accessed through the creation menu. Select the building you wish to construct and find a proper place for it. Structures cannot be built too close to other villages and require a relatively flat surface. To fully construct a building, you will need a hammer equipped. While building houses, you can choose the materials you wish to use for each wall and roof module. They will become visible only when the hammer is taken out. Now I need to build my first home, yes! If only it was this easy. If only I can go out, buy the water, pick up some reeds, get some logs, and just build a whole home and just be able to live out of it. Then I would be a homeowner. <laughs> I'm running, I'm running. I need to find a flat space and I am currently right up against the town. So I imagine I cannot place the home very close to here. So I am gonna trek out a little bit and then think of placing my home. I wonder if through placing the home, I can build a village. So maybe that's why it doesn't want it close to other villages, but not sure yet. So far, I am liking this game. I think the graphics don't look too shabby. Maybe it is a little... I don't even want to call it glitchy, but just a little hmm, janky in some places. But overall, so far, not bad. Okay, I think I am coming across a clearing. Oh, berries! Awesome, I'm gonna take some berries. My food meter is getting quite low, so I am going to eat some food. Let's see what we got here. If only we had a microwave, that would be fun. Get some nice warm dried meat. Yeah, I guess I'm just gonna eat a bunch of dried meat. All right, we're back to 80s for our food. Let me build a home next to the berry bush. Oh, discovered animal spot board. That might also be pretty handy. Let me get these sticks out the way. I don't know if it matters, but... Okay, building menu. Buildings. Farming, hunting, animal husbandry, services, storage. Houses. Okay, simple, small home simple house and then a regular house so simple oh here we go now what oh and now i get an achievement reach hermitage development level let me turn on my quest real quick <laughs> and get back to the game okay so now i should have a home right how long does it take? I guess I didn't check that to see how long it would take to craft the home. To build, we do need to have our hammer out. It says we are laying the foundation of our simple small house and we need five logs. So I am going to go and look for some logs. I did add our stone axe, wooden hammer, and stone knife into... The quick access menu which is very nice so now I don't have to keep going to the menu screen but now let's get to work on some of these maple trees bang bang gotta get some logs where are them logs at there we go one log two logs so we got another tree coming here is hacking away at it. I think our axe might be getting a little weak. Oh, timber. Boom. So I do want to make sure I'm mindful of that because if it just randomly got destroyed, <laughs> uh, that would be annoying. Got some more morel mushrooms. I'm gonna grab them, gimme gimme. Okay, let's get back to our foundation. And we should be able to advance onwards. 
go to our quick access menu, grab our hammer. Okay, let's go. Oh, and I'm actually hammering it. Dang. So the foundation is laid and I can actually walk on the foundation. It's not too big. It's just a small, I maybe it's supposed to be completely wood. Yes, it is. It is a small wooden square. And next to build the framing, I need eight logs total and I have two. I do see an animal in the distance. Tempted, tempted, but I'm, I'm going to ignore it for now <laughs> and keep on with our house. I can't take out our torch, but it looks like it's starting to get bright outside again. So I kind of missed the window on that. But let's get axing. Our axe is at 46%. So it's still decently high, especially because I've gone through what, like seven maple trees now, probably closer to six. So they have decent longevity until I really need a bunch of stuff done. Maybe we can get people to do this for us. <laughs> but, you know, we got to understand the, the value of hard work first. Oh, I found a spruce tree that I'm hacking at. So let's knock this giant tree down. I don't know if I can take damage from this. Oh, you're carrying too much already. Dang. Let me take my hammer out. Hopefully I have enough logs to build the frame. Let's run up here. And our foundation does have some steps on it. Actually run up on it. And I'm building our foundation. And I am one log shy. So <laughs> let's go back and grab one of those fallen logs. Because I was over encumbered. Oh, stone. Where did I just knock those logs down? Oh, there it is. Yeah, booty. This is more than I bargained for, though. Let's be real. Because I thought it was just select the house option. Boom, the house is built. But I'm actually out here hammering. Now I got to make... Oh, new building unlocked, a well. I, I got a waddle wall with window. I need six sticks and one log. Oh, and then I got another waddle wall. I need a log for that. Another waddle wall. Oh, one with a door. I need two logs for that. Dang, y'all, come on, I'm sweating, I'm tired. But we gotta get to work. This is the medieval ages. Oh. Why did that a-hole, who killed our uncle, by the way, I know this, this is basically a fact at this point. Why did he not offer to help? <laughs> he's like, he's young, he'll be fine. Okay, I got four more logs. Now I'm going to race up to our foundation. Start getting these walls in. Oh, I see a boar. I'm so excited. He's just watching me build. Okay, let's go ahead and get this wall with a window up. Oh, 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 oh. I guess I can change the construction. Oh, okay. So right now it's just giving me a default framing, but I can change the different constructions if I didn't want this window. So I am doing the wall with the window here. Boom, that's built up. Let's go. Next, just plain wall. Done, did it. Health. Fighting, falling, or ignoring the negative statuses may cause you to lose health. Losing all of it will result in death. You regenerate health by sleeping in your bed, eating healing herbs, or herbalist potions to cure wounds. Okay. 
Wait. Oh, oh my God. The boar came inside. Oh, don't kill me. Oh my gosh. The boar is going to kill me, y'all. It. Oh my God. I got assassinated. <gasps> Achievement unlocked. Oopsie daisy. Die. Oh my gosh. End of dynasty. You died. That freaking boar. I let my eyes off of it for <laughs> five freaking seconds to finish building my home. And I get killed. Oh, jeez. So I do have an autosave. Let's hit that up. Butthead. Beavis the boar. And now I gotta wait through this loading screen. Excellent, excellent. Well, now we know that as soon as we see animals, we need to take action. I should have taken out my axe. I feel like that probably would have been more effective against it. I was trying to whack it with my hammer. It was literally climbed up the stairs of the foundation and was just in my house. So, oh my gosh, so freaking annoying. Do I still have my logs? Okay, I do not. I don't even see the boar anymore. Dang. Oh, there he is. Hold up. He's trying to get some revenge. Maybe I will... Hmm. I'll take out my stone knife. And I'm running towards him. Let's go, buddy boy. Let's go. Okay. I think it's too strong. I'm going to die again. No, I'm going out swinging. Ah, woosah, woosah. And we're back. <laughs> I definitely didn't die two more times to that freaking boar. But I got some for it. I am going to craft a wooden spear. So I feel like this could be used for hunting. Let me go ahead and get this in our quick access options. Oh, yes, can be used for hunting and combat. 15 damage. Our stone knife does 20 damage, though. So, oh, oh well, maybe this will keep some distance. But it's in our quick slot for... I'm going to take it out. Okay, we got some poking action. I'm going to find that freaking boar creeping around my camp. Here you go. Let's go. Boom, got him once. I get it. My health is low. I'm trying to get this boar. Oh no, my wooden spear broke? Don't you run for me. He's running. I'm punching him. I got him. Yes, skin the boar. Perfect. Got some leather and some meat. Oh my gosh, it had a friend. Cool, cool. We love it. Can I just, in the middle, go ahead and start eating some more dried meat? Oh no, it's the... Uh, plantain that gives me health yeah i'll eat this these plantains they're all gone uh-oh maybe some apples apples don't give me health oh crap i do need some water though maybe i'll just try to run it away from it and then get some water oh my gosh it's so fast this might be the end for me dang speared me in the back what what is with this difficulty spike okay i guess i need to build a couple of spears to get ready for battle i didn't know i'd be preparing for full-on war between me and the boars so soon but okay maybe i need to go back and and recruit some villagers to defend me while i build this house but I guess it is kind of my fault because it said this was a boar spotting area. And instead of actually being like, oh, maybe I shouldn't build my home here. I built it right on the boar area. So now that I'm thinking about it, definitely uh, user error here. I didn't think the boars would be like that, though. I thought they'd be nicer. I, I was kind of assuming it was a if you don't bother them, they won't bother you sort of vibe. But no, these things are hostile. Look at them. They're already peeking at me. Oh, my God. They're so mad. I'm literally running for my life right now. Running for my freaking life. It's still chasing me. 
<laughs> Our character needs to uh, craft some Adidas shoes because we're going to be needing them. Oh, discovered fishing spot. Ooh, discovered a spot for ducks. I feel like ducks would not be as hostile. Maybe I should start to attempt to build a home just in a different area. And since I am near the water, I did run off. I'm going to go ahead and drink some water. I do see duckies swimming. Hey, I ain't got no beef with y'all, right? Let me try to get near them. Will y'all hurt me? No, they fly away. Look, that's what animals should do, right? They should just run. If someone's holding a tool, but these boars, I guess, know that I am but a wee baby. So they want to come get me. This is unfortunate. Ooh, I found lost shipment that had some hop in it. A type of crop harvested during autumn can be used for crafting various alcoholic beverages at the brewing station in the tavern. And I am going to take all four of the hop that I found. And that was it. It was just sitting right by the sea. It looks like it washed up, which I don't know if this is a sea. Maybe it's a giant lake. It just got washed up on the side there. Jeepers, creepers. Maybe I should uh, attempt to reconstruct our home. Well, I guess deconstruct it first and then reconstruct it in a better area. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, I might try to destroy this foundation and start new because I could not have this. Let's go ahead and run over there. I gotta be so careful that I don't get spotted by the warden. <laughs> the boar warden. Okay, so I can destroy is an option, which is unfortunate. I wonder if I get the resources back. Oh, that's so fast to destroy. Okay, yeah, I'm just going to run off and... <laughs> find a better spot because these boar are way too aggressive this is not going to work in the long run unless i just become the boar master or i find some boar repellent but at this point in time it's not going good oh i did find broadleaf plantain i think these were what gave me health but yeah i'm just going to keep exploring further into the wilderness and maybe if I come across an animal spotting point that contains a less aggressive animal, then I will stop and set up camp, which I think this is a nice area. This is kind of close to where it said duck spotting right next to the body of water. I mean, what's the worst that can happen? Let's go ahead and start trying to... So I built... <laughs> the foundation next to the water and now you know we got to take it from the top again we need some stones so i am just going to go ahead and pick up some stones not too hard to find they're all over the place so i'm just quickly snagging some maybe if i'm lucky i can get this done before dark but we will have to see it's a race against time so got some stones gathered i think i needed eight so now Running back to our foundation. Let's go ahead and get this built. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Oh, there are obstacles blocking the building site. Like what? Boom. I think that was just a fluke. I went over to the other side of the foundation and got it built, so... Don't know what was blocking it. Maybe it was a ghost. Maybe this is our next obstacle. <laughs> is fighting ghosts. Now I need some logs though. Or some sticks. Was that sticks or logs? Let me make sure I'm grabbing the right thing. Oh, I need logs. Okay, yeah. I was not grabbing the right thing. So we need to get our broken and abused axe out. Only 23%. And get to chopping. Y'all... Whew. This reminds me an episode of an episode of Naked and Afraid. <laughs> I used to watch that show quite a bit. 
and haven't in a while. I don't have Hulu anymore. But all of their training that they did, they could have just played this game to get the effect of uh, fighting boar in the wild, cutting down trees, roping them together to make a foundation. It's not a bad show. It is cool to see people get crafty in that way. I kind of wish I knew some more skills like that. Maybe someday, maybe I'll take a survival class. <laughs> Uh-oh. My axe just got destroyed. I gotta make another axe. Oh, and my capacity is getting very full. When your carrying capacity gets close to full, there is an icon that pops up. It is a weight icon. So, yeah, I'm definitely uh, holding too much right here. I just see things and I want to grab them. I think that's understandable. <laughs> I got big pockets. I want to fill them. Okay, so let's get building. Four, three, two, one. Boop. Okay, now we're back to the wall part. So good. But I do need to craft another axe. So I just need two more stone for the axe. So very simple crafting. And the crafting in this game is not that hard. I have played games in the past where the crafting felt very tedious but at least so far it's it feels very simple already got the well in two seconds i will have an axe built boom two seconds so let's go ahead and get some more logs and actually i'll probably just cut back in when the house is finally freaking built since we've been doing this for the last like 10 minutes definitely more than 10 minutes though but we had some uh, issues. I ate our oat loaf. We have one more left, but I ate an oat loaf. I was getting pretty low on food and I actually destroyed one of the hammers. It just ran out of strength. So I had to craft another hammer, but I am almost done crafting this house. Every piece, so every piece of the wall you did have to craft, like every side of the home and then the roof was actually split into one two three four five six pieces so i am on the very last piece i'm swinging away at our thatch roof with my hammer and we shall be done in just a little bit boom uh-oh don't tell me there's more let me get in here oh good night how do i get inside do i have to put the hammer away to walk in what's going on oh framing i see i still have more pieces in there oh wooden attic i need <laughs> another log to access the build for our attic what if i don't want an attic i didn't know this house was going to be so advanced dang it holy moly y'all i finally freaking finished i like how i started this episode and i was like yes it's gonna be a goofy time and now i am literally like sweating i feel like i'm having hot flashes my hands my, my fingers are, are sore like we put so much effort into building this freaking house here we go now we got another chapter chapters are a series of missions that appear at the beginning of the game and introduce you to the game's mechanics it also assists you in the initial stages of your new settlement's construction completing chapters allows you to unlock next development stage which determines the maximum limit of buildings you can construct okay so now i need to talk to dobron dobrongia i don't know why i cannot pronounce that woman's name let me open the door why can i not get inside here 
Let me in my home. Oh, you just push open the door. <gasps> awesome. There's a cauldron in here. I have a storage chest. And then I have a double bed and a single bed. I'm trying to see if I can access the attic. It doesn't appear I can. Let's see what I can craft in this cauldron. I can do porridge, soups, or other awesome. So I think I am going to stop the episode here. That crafting took a lot out of me. So now I got to regroup, rehydrate, and <laughs> get my head back in the game for this one. I do think I want to do another episode, at least at this point. If you don't see another one, then, you know, oh well. But I did have a little fun. I am interested to see more of this game. I am going to go ahead and do a hard save. Okay, I didn't know I was going to be able to name my saves. So... <laughs> I hope you're having a good day, a good night, a good time. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Medieval Dynasty. And I will be talking to y'all real soon with some more content. I'll see ya.